Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I ask if you would like to see a tour of our new travel trailer and the majority of you said yes, so here it is. Um, this is our second um, new travel trailer this summer. This is a 2021 hideout by Keystone and I believe it's like a 318BR and so was our other one but the roof leaked and so we had to get a new one so this is our new one and it's just like our other one except this wallpaper is different and then the refrigerator is a little different okay so when you walk in the door there's the fireplace and then there's the stereo and then here's where you put the tv and then there's all the little controls for everything. And then on the right, when you come in the door, here's the bedroom. And it has storage right there on the right side and on the left side of the bed and also up high. And then it has a sliding door right here and then also one over here. So we have a TV, but we just haven't had a chance to put it up yet because we just picked it up. So we're really excited and we hope this one is a good one for us. So there's what the fireplace looks like. And then um, under the bed, there's a lot of storage. Um, it lifts up, so I was thinking I could put some crafting supplies under it. And then this right here, this couch, um, the middle piece flips down and it's um, got like two cup holders in it so it looks like there's two chairs instead of a couch if you flip it down and also it makes a bed and there's storage underneath there and then this is the little booth and you can also make a bed there but I was thinking about doing my crafts on that table and setting up a tripod over here but I don't know yet let me know what you think about me doing my crafts in a travel trailer but this is the little, I don't know what you call it, brochure on it. And so this right here, the back of the seats on our um, first one, it had fabric where this one's all leather. And then I'm going to turn around here, I'm going to try not to make you dizzy. And then this one has the um, stainless steel refrigerator. And our first one had the solid black refrigerator. So I really like this refrigerator better, and it's a lot um, larger. Let me see if I can open it without shaking the camera. Let's see, it's a lot bigger than you would think. And then this shelf right here moves, so you can put like your milk and stuff in. And then you have the drawers that pull out down here for salads and fruit. And then up high, it has your freezer. And then right here's the microwave, and it's actually a good height. I can actually reach this microwave because I'm kind of short. And I really like the tile backsplash it has. Our other one had the same one. And then here's the little stove top and the little oven. And it's really tiny, I'll show you. It's really tiny. I usually carry my electric skillet and we usually cook outside. It has a little outdoor kitchen, so that's what we usually use. Okay, and so it's got a nice size sink. And then under here, um, we usually put the trash can and then it has a couple drawers here and it has a vacuum I guess it's called it looks like road vac we haven't used it or anything but it's got the attachments for it and everything and I really like under this countertop I don't know if you can see but it's got lights so it makes a real pretty night light at night and then also in this cabinet the lights are really pretty and it looks pretty at night too and then the little knobs light up on the stove. This travel trailer has two air conditioners, 
which is really nice. So we have the one that's in the kitchen area, and then we have this one that's in the front bedroom, which my husband likes to turn it on really cold and freeze me. And on our first travel trailer, these blinds would not stay up. We would raise them and they'd fall right back down. And so on this new one, all the blinds work. So if you're thinking about buying a travel trailer, that's something to think about. Check the blinds, check to make sure the air conditioner works good, check your refrigerator. Oh goodness, I could tell you all kinds of things because this has been definitely an experience. We thought buying a new travel trailer that we wouldn't have any problems or anything, but we were wrong. We've had so many problems, so that's why we bought a new one. Another new one. Okay, and this right here is the pantry. And we have never had a pantry before. And I don't know if I can pull this knob. It's kind of hard to pull these handles. Oh, sorry guys if that was too loud. But so it has a lot of storage up here, like for your cereal and your chips. I've done like paper plates and cups and that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of storage right here. And there's also storage underneath the booth seats. Um, the cushions on the bottom just lift right up. And so you have a lot of storage under there for your pots and pans and that type of things. And this table um, drops down and that way you can make it into a bed if you need to. Okay, so going back this way, and I really like the floor too. Okay, so going back this way, right there on the left, that's the bathroom, and I'll show it to you in just a minute. And then right here's a sliding door, and then here's the back bedroom. So my kids really like having this large bedroom. Okay, so this right here is really nice. You can just prop up on it and read a book or you can flip these cushions out and it makes a large bed it comes out way into the floor so it would sleep you know two or three kids right there then it's also got a top bunk and it has two slide outs this is a slide out right here and then the um, other slide outs right there so that's why it's so large because it has two slide outs okay so somebody can sleep right there couple people can sleep down here and I like how it has cup holders too and then right here's another bed and it has storage underneath it and then here's another bunk bed up high and so you can put your TV right here and then it has all the little hookups up there and then below the TV there's storage plus another little storage spot and then it has a couple of closets over here. They're not very big, but they'll still hold a lot. And on the opposite side, on the outside of this little bunk bed is the outdoor kitchen. So I hope that makes sense. On the other side of this is the outdoor kitchen. Okay, so we're leaving the back bedroom now. And I'll show you the bathroom. Now it's tiny, but I'm going to show you. Okay. So it has a cabinet in here, but it's tiny. You can put just a little bit of shampoo and conditioner and lotion and that type of stuff in it. And then it has a shower and I'm filming this at night guys so it has a skylight but of course it's dark and so there's the tub and we're changing out the shower head to a um, more powerful one because my daughter and I both have long hair and so the new one's supposed to have more water pressure so we can get the shampoo out of our hair but I kind of like this tub um, it's big enough that you can, you know, shower, wash your hair, shave your legs, all that kind of stuff. And then here's the toilet. And then we usually store our toilet paper right there. And then this is the second door. So it's kind of nice having the two doors because if you're camping and you need to go to the restroom, you can just open that door, lock it behind you, of course, go to the restroom and then you can go back, right back out without tracking through the whole travel trailer. 
So it's kind of neat having the two doors. That was one of the things that my husband wanted was a second door so that, you know, we didn't have to, if you're traveling, you don't have to let the slides out and all that. If someone needs to stop and use the restroom, you just open that door, turn on the pump, use the restroom, and then you're ready to get back on the road. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them. Um, my husband, he usually pulls this camper. He has a big dually truck and this travel trailer is I think 35 feet long. So it's a pretty big one. We've always, um, all my life we've camped. And so I just love going camping and so does my family. But if you have any questions, I will try to answer them. But it's a hideout brand by Keystone. This camper also has a nice awning and then it has the outdoor kitchen on it. So it has outside, it has a small refrigerator, a little sink and a couple cabinets. And then it has like two burner stove top. I guess that's what it's called. So you can cook outside and not mess up your kitchen if you don't want to. But it's dark, so I don't know if I'll get to show it to you right now, but hopefully I can add that into the video later. And so since it has so much storage under these two booths, this couch and that bed back there, I'm thinking about while we're not camping, then just adding, putting my crafting supplies in here. And I think that I can film my tutorials right here. But I don't know. So what are your thoughts about turning this into my crafting room when we're not using it to camp? And this is what it looks like at night. It's got the storage under the front. And then it's got the awning that comes out. And it has the little LED light strips. And it has two speakers. And then the outdoor kitchen is in the back. And I'll try to take some more video for you tomorrow. It's a beautiful day here. I hope it's beautiful where you are too. So this is what the outside of the hideout looks like. And in the front, it has a storage compartment that goes all the way to the other side. And then it has the um, steps. I don't know what they're called, but they're a little more stable than just the back door steps. And then of course it has the push button awning and then the outdoor kitchen is in the back and I'll show you that in just a second. My son has to open it for me. And this is the other side and you can see the two slide outs. And now this is what the outdoor kitchen looks like. It's very tiny. It just has a refrigerator without a freezer. It has a small sink. It has a two burner stove or stove top and then the little cabinets above. And that's it guys, but it works out good for us because we like to cook outside. And so here's just another look of the front. So let me know what you think if I should turn this travel trailer into my craft room when we're not camping. And so I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions about our travel trailer, just leave them in the comments section below. And if I can't answer them, I will ask my husband and hopefully we'll get you an answer.